Hey guys, welcome to another update. Um, so our project's kind of in a broken state at the minute. So let's just go ahead and do a few more fixes. So first of all, we're going to add our is grounded, uh, just so we can actually start jumping around again. We're going to disable the smoothing on the camera for now. Uh, we're actually just going to make a, a stick to the player. Uh, all right, so. What we'll do first is let's go over to our player controller script. Um, and what we're going to do is if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to create a new function. And, and this function is going to be on draw gizmos um, selected. Okay, so inside this function, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a sphere at the bottom of the player. Um, so if I expand the capture collider, we're basically going to add a sphere by the feet, uh, which is a at position zero so we can just use transform dot position and basically the sphere will basically just be used to check any collisions beneath the player's feet okay so nice and simple so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to do our gizmos color uh, so we'll just do gizmos dot color and uh, let's just set it to color dot blue or let's make it red same as our player <laughs> Okay, and now we need to draw our actual gizmos. So I'm just going to do gizmos.draw. Um, we're going to draw a sphere. So once a position, so we'll just use transform.position and the radius of the sphere. So let's start with 0.1f and go into our inspector and uh, let's take a look at our new sphere. All right, so as we can see, this uh, sphere is a little too small. I can actually zoom in on it properly. <laughs> okay. Uh, one thing to note is you may have noticed as you minimize components, it hides the gizmos for those components. So if you're worried that uh, your sphere isn't showing up, just make sure that you have the script um, like uh, toggled. Uh, okay, so let's try 0.2. Okay, that's a little bit more like it. We'll um, we'll use that for now. Okay, so this is obviously just for debug purposes. Um, so we actually need to uh, do a sphere check. Uh, so let's go back up to our is grounded. So we return it false by default, which is good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just do an if, and we'll just do a physics dot check sphere. So it works exactly the same. Takes position. So we'll just do transform dot position um, and a radius. So we'll do zero point two. Um, if you want, you can throw that in a variable. I'm just going to leave it as 0.2 for now. Um, okay, and so then you then we would return true because uh, basically our sphere has collisions. We should be allowed to jump. Um, okay, so one issue with this is, as you can see, it is uh, constantly colliding with the capsule collider attached to our player. Um, so a way around this is uh, we'll uh, basically give uh, our player a player layer. So I'm going to click layer, I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm just going to call it player. And then click back on our player and make sure we assign that layer. I'm just going to ask if we want to change children, we may as well. Okay, so now we have our layer set, we need to create a layer mask. So I'm going to scroll back up to uh, jumping slash falling, or actually let's do it on gravity. Um, underneath gravity, I'm going to have a public layer mask um, and this layer mask will basically be our uh, ground mask okay so i'm going to copy that go back down to our check sphere and we're just going to add it onto the end there our ground mask okay so now all that's left to do is set our ground mask it's over here uh, so we'll set it to everything and then we'll come back in and remove player off that list. So now our check sphere will return true if it collides with anything that doesn't have the player mask. So such as like a ground, top of a spaceship, etc. Okay, so let's hit play. Just make sure it is grounded and now working. So we should now be able to hit the ground again. Uh, when the animation actually plays. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that's nice. Um, animation's working, which is good. 
um, which means our is grounded is now working. So now we should be able to jump and everything as well now. Okay, so it looks like my position is off in the animation, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll go to models. I have hard landing. Uh, what I'll do, position Y, we'll set to feet. Just hit apply. Check if that fixes my issue. I'll have this fall here, and we'll have a hard fall. Okay, that's much better. And as you can see, because we've enabled room motion now, um, you actually can't move as the animation plays, which is quite neat. Okay, so now we have that settled. Uh, what I also want to do is move the uh, platform. So I'm actually going to move it to the right just so it's out of that really dark shadow. Just like so. Okay, so what's next on the list? We have uh, our is grounded, um, so our jumping animations are working. Uh, we need our jumping force. Uh, so see here where we've commented this out. Um, so this is going to be a little bit simple, uh, not as simple now. Um, but what we can do is we can just use the character rigid body and we can just do add force. Cool. And what this will take is a vector. So what we want is transform dot up and then times by our settings dot jumping force. Um, and then we can also specify a force mode. So let's just go uh, impulse. So it's like a, a jump. Can we remove that comment now? We will need to change the value of that jumping force uh, as we're using the built-in physics now. Um, and it takes our mass into consideration. So let's go over to settings, look for jumping force. Okay, it's currently set to 10. Let's just pop that on 100 and see what happens. So we'll hit play. And we'll jump. And he barely jumped. Okay, so one thing to note now as well, uh, if I just click on here, hit play. Okay, that's all good. Um, okay, so applying jump force. Let's, uh, what I'm also going to do, jumping triggered and falling triggered. I'm just going to move that into our applied jump force. So I can do it after the force is applied. Okay. Okay, so I will need to jumping triggered. Sorry, we will need to leave that in there. Uh, just to stop people spamming the button. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. But as long as uh, falling triggered is an applied jump force, it should be okay. All right, so let's play around that force. We obviously need to up it substantially. Um, it will go a thousand and see if uh, our player actually jumps a little now. Okay. So that's better. Um, we don't need a thousand though. Let's uh, try 400. Bit better. Okay. Um, 500. All right, that's perfect. We'll, um, we'll leave it on 500. Uh, so let's just go ahead and set that. Okay, so we've got jumping again, which is good. Um, we have our root motion in play. Uh, so with our root motion, our jumping animation is a little funny, uh, mainly because it takes root motion into consideration. So you see it stops me moving when I jump and stuff like that isn't what we want because you don't want to be in the middle of like a sprint and then jump and your, play your character just stops. Uh, so in the next tutorial we'll go over a few fixes on how to um, get the jumping move, uh, running smoothly now. But as you can see uh, all the other animations are working and it's uh, looking pretty neat now uh, especially if I go into our jack here and um, set targeting mode you'll see this uh, also works quite neat as well.
All right, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the uh, next tutorial.